I am Jason Merrill and I am the Chief of Marketing out here at Go Power Sports. I'm Taylor, uh, I work at Go Power Sports, I'm the Head of Research and Development. I started when I was four or five years old when my dad first took the job at the go-kart track and that, that was my daycare. Oh, well, you know it was awesome being raised here as a kid. I mean, especially at the go-kart track, Jason and I just got to tear it up all the time. Definitely uh, is a fun way to be raised for sure. So running around, helping out with go-karts, taking money from, from customers, getting them, getting them set up, that was how I, I started. And then it kind of grew now. What I do here is anything with social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, merch. I usually have a hand in that. That's kind of my department. I have a, an awesome team that basically takes care of the warehouse. I got Taylor doing you know, parts and product development and basically I just market it. We're always building a lot of stuff, modifying a lot of stuff and coming up with new ideas. Hello, I'm, I'm David here with Go Power Sports. Uh, my name is Tim and I'm with Go Power Sports. We are 50-50 owners in this, so it's really no different president or vice president. Uh, my father started as a go-kart track in 1962. How long have we been together? I think we started in 87, actually full-time in 89. Uh, in 89. That's a long time. <laughs> That's like over 20 years, I think. Yeah. As far as Go Power Sports goes, we started putting that together in 2008. And then in 2010, we actually launched on the website. It was pretty meager to begin with. <laughs> and we grew significantly since then. Uh, Go Powers turned into more than any of us have ever dreamed it would. Basically, we are a family owned company. We are third generation in, and I would be part of that third generation. So it's just amazing just to see how it started from a humble little go kart track all the way to you know a really nice go kart track, mini golf, and then now you know one of your top performance parts for go karts and mini bikes. It's amazing that it's been around for this long, that it's just grown and grown, and I'm just so stoked to be a part of it. I mean, my grandpa bought the first go kart track in '62, and to think about that, that it's lasted through the '60s, '70s, '80s. I mean, it's insane. Um, to make it to 60 years is pretty cool. Or the 60th anniversary Little Rascal chromed out mini bike is just amazing to look at. A alone, I believe it's around like a five or six thousand dollar mini bike, but right now it is, uh, we are raffling it off $10 a ticket and all the proceeds are going to Teen Life. And this bike really shows our appreciation to all of our customers, I think. All, the, all of the proceeds for those bikes will go to an organization called Teen Life. Teen Life organization, it's, we've been affiliated with them for how many years now? Probably five or six. At least five or six, and just a top-notch bunch of people. They, they really care about the kids out there. Uh, we go to an annual event and you, you hear the kids get up and speak about what it means to them. You listen to the mentors, it's a, it's a first-class organization. And, uh, please help us support these these fine young people. Um, this is kind of just taking it to a whole nother level. They help troubled youth in the area, well not really in the area anymore, it's getting nationwide to where they provide counseling for junior high and high school teens um, who just need to talk, who need to talk stuff out. So this bike, we're raffling off 10 of them. Hopefully we can make a ton of money for these for these people doing this awesome work. Hopefully raffling all of uh, this mini bike, we raised quite a bit of money for it. It's uh, hopefully it'll definitely help them out just to expand their, their reach.